Hi, my name is Olivia and I invite you to join me on my journey on the Camino Francis. Embarking on today's journey, my path leads me from Ives de Juaros to the charming town of Tardajos, nestled just beyond the enchanting city of Burgos. As I traverse the streets of Burgos, I am spellbound by its captivating old center, a truly remarkable surprise along the Camino Francis. Good morning, I am now walking to Burgos, um, it's, there's nothing too scenic about this. I'm just walking by the side of the road. I will catch up with you from Burgos. I think I'm now entering Burgos Old Center. Looks very nice. The weather is getting a bit crazy. It's so windy. In the city center, and then we'll like a short break, and then we'll go visit the cathedral and everything else I can visit. Maybe I'll stop here for a break to have a look at this beautiful cathedral. Burgos Cathedral is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is the only Spanish cathedral that has this distinction independently, without being joined to the historic center of a city or in union with other buildings. Its construction, spanning from the 13th to the 16th century, manifests a harmonious blend of artistic mastery and spiritual devotion. The cathedral's facade is a masterpiece in itself, adorned with an array of meticulously crafted sculptures and intricate carvings. Each element tells a story depicting biblical scenes, saints and symbolic motifs that captivate visitors with their detail and symbolism. The soaring spires and the majestic arches that grace the exterior contribute to the cathedral's commanding presence in the cityscape. If you're walking the Camino de Santiago, I believe it is a must visit for everyone. Personally, I have never seen a cathedral that has amazed me more. In terms of its architectural magnificence and the meticulous craftsmanship, evident in every sculpture, carving and intricate detail within its sacred walls.
This is a beautiful city. I'm so impressed with the old town. It started to rain a little bit, so I think I'm gonna look for a place to have some lunch. Although I do want to visit the castle as well, so I'll see. This is the entrance to the cathedral. I thought it was closed, so maybe I can visit. So, I got a ticket with five euros because I'm a pilgrim. It's normally 10 if you're not. And I'm going to visit the cathedral. I'm so tired at this point that people look at me and think, must have been a long day. Upon entering, visitors are welcomed into a realm of awe-inspiring beauty. The grandeur of the nave, adorned with ribbed vaults and graceful columns, evokes a sense of divine splendor. Stained glass windows, some dating back to the 13th century, bathe the interior in a kaleidoscope of colors, illuminating the sacred space with ethereal light. Wandering through the cathedral, one discovers a series of chapels dedicated to various saints, each a testament to the patronage of noble families and their commitment to embellishing the sacred place. The restaurant was really noisy, but what I was saying is that I absolutely loved my cathedral visit and that Burgos was my favorite city on the Camino so far. And now I'm relaxing at a restaurant right by the cathedral and I'm waiting for my pizza. I'll try to visit the castle as well. It might be a bit too late to look for it because I spent quite a long time at the restaurant. And then we'll see if I can maybe take a taxi to Tabajos. Because honestly, I would rather enjoy the castle than walk through the industrial sites and the suburbs of Burgos. You know when you stop into the first place thinking, oh wow, this is so amazing. Earlier I stopped for a Tinto de Verano with a view of the cathedral, which I could only see a tiny corner and I thought, wow, I can see the cathedral. So amazing, I'm gonna stop here. And then I realized there was a huge square with plenty of restaurants and places with such an amazing view. And I just stopped and like, this random corner which was far less impressive so yeah that's a bit funny on google maps it says that the castle is temporarily closed i'm hoping maybe it's not now it really started raining 
not great. But anyway, visiting the cathedral woke me up a little bit. I'm feeling so much better. That was amazing. That was the most beautiful cathedral I've ever visited. And I am not exaggerating. It was absolutely stunning, amazing. It's, it's mind blowing every time I see the amount of detail and what people can do. Okay, so now I'm going to Parque de Castillo, which is the castle park. Beautiful views, horrible weather. This is beautiful. I'm happy I came up here. The Camino. <sighs> Back on the road. And the road is not pretty. So, the last time you saw me, I was in Burgos. I ended up actually taking a taxi, not necessarily because I couldn't walk or because I was tired. Because after I visited the cathedral and castle park, and I had a really nice view in the square, I was feeling much better. So, I could have walked. However, because I really wanted to see the city center and I felt like staying there for longer, it was pretty late when I wanted to leave Burgos to go to Tardajos, which is a village somewhere after Burgos, not too far. Having to choose between visiting the city center and having a great time or using those two hours to walking through the outskirts of the city and through the industrial area, I chose Burgos 
and therefore I took a taxi. This was a um, 10 minute drive. It also started raining, so it would have been a miserable walk to be honest and, and I'm happy with my choice. I paid 50 euros for the taxi. It all went smoothly. I'm really gonna avoid doing that from now on because I really want to walk the entire time. But yeah, with all the walking by the highway the previous days and walking through the outskirts from the other side of Burgos, I was thinking, do you know what? I would rather enjoy my time, be a bit earlier at my accommodation and enjoy everything. Also, I absolutely love this accommodation. This is one of the places I'll highly recommend. I will leave it in the description. That being said, I'm gonna relax for a little bit. I will probably go have dinner here where I'm staying. This place is called La Fabrica and so far it seems amazing. I will opt for breakfast as well. So far it's been an amazing day. I was so down in the morning. I feel like every day is like that. I have these moments when I'm like, no, this is so horrible. Mentally I'm not feeling great. And then something happens and it completely lifts me up and I get excited again. So I will see you later. The music was pretty loud and the sound quality was, again, not great. But I was having the best time and I was saying how that was a hidden gem and the atmosphere was so nice. I was really happy. It was, again, one of those days that turned out to be amazing in the end. What a great evening! So, the place where I'm staying is called La Fabrica. It's right up to Burgos. And maybe because people stop in Burgos, I haven't really seen any pilgrims. It was just locals or only Spanish people. The atmosphere tonight was so amazing. I had the best meal. There was this pop flamenco kind of music, which really made the atmosphere better and I really enjoyed. Everyone was having fun and people were really nice. There was a fire by the bar. I enjoyed the night so much. You know how sometimes you go to some places and you just feel the energy of the place and it makes you feel really good. This was one of those special places on the Camino that I will remember because I really enjoyed it. This is a little bit off the main road of the Camino. Just a few minutes, nothing crazy. But for some reason, pilgrims don't seem to come here which is a shame because I would highly recommend this place. So yeah, overall a great night. Tomorrow I'm walking for 30 plus kilometers again, hopefully. So I really need to get some rest tonight. And I had a lovely day. It's interesting how it completely started off the wrong foot. And this morning I was just hating on everything. And then um, I had a great day visiting Burgos, enjoying the city centre. Um, Burgos Cathedral is absolutely mind-blowing and it's a must on the Camino and uh, yeah overall I had this amazing day and I wasn't really expecting it from the way it started. Now I'm gonna get ready for bed and have a relaxing night and tomorrow I'm gonna get going again so see you tomorrow!